Today we're going to take a look at a movement coming in like a blocking type of an action. Now we see this at the end of Pasai Kata of Oyata, okay? But let's see what we can do with this. Now the hand is coming underneath the one hand and then coming back up. Now once you come on under the arm, to me that signifies you're attacking under the arm. So what's under the arm? You're going to be attacking into the ribs. Now in Ohan Soken's notes, we discussed and showed knockouts from attacking the um, Inazuma target, okay? Now that target is a very powerful target. You see it used in boxing, it's called the liver punch. Uh, it's very effective, it works great. We're just going about it with different uh, types of kata movements, uh, but the premise is hitting the target correctly, okay? Whether you, whether you use the right tool, the right trajectory to attack and cause the uh, unconsciousness of the opponent, and the disability of the opponent. Now, when we did this movement, you're gonna be using this action here to come in with that punch to that Inazuma target, and we'll illustrate it in the uh, extended video. But once you've struck up and through there, as the person's doubling over and going down, if they don't drop too fast on you, they're still viable because maybe you grazed it a little bit. Maybe you didn't get a clean shot in. You always have to have a follow-up. So what we do from there is we're gonna come back with the back knuckles and we're going to place it into another target on the head and or neck. There's several different targets you can accomplish with that to cause the full knockout. Now you can take it behind the ear, for example, you can take it to the side of the neck, you can take it into the facial nerve right in through here, you can take it into the mental nerve up and through here, up into the temple. You've seen a couple of different temple attacks on this um, series here. So again, it all depends on the size of your opponent compared to you. It also depends on your prowess and how you, what targets you like to target and what you practice the most. Because what you practice the most is going to be the one that comes out. So if you're good at, say, striking into the temple region and knowing and understanding that target and how to hit it correctly with the trajectory to cause the disability of the opponent, then that's going to be much better. Again, it's what you practice. So take your training, take all these videos that we're doing here, look for the targets that fit you and really work them to a fine approach. You might want to play around with the other targets just to see if something else feels more comfortable to you or is more applicable to your style or just to have a, um, an understanding just in case you can't reach the tempo that you practiced all those times because the guy is six foot four. Maybe you have to go to a lower target, maybe into the jawline, maybe into the neckline. You never know where you're going to have to attack because you don't know what your opponent is going to be uh, that attacks you. So you have to practice on many of them, but practice a couple of them, get them really sharp so you understand them well. And let's take a look at that extended film and see the applications from that target. <laughs> Thank you.